In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost, amen. My dear and beloved in Christ, someone asked me, why do you give so many sermons about the rosary? So I looked in my file cabinet, and I keep my sermons, because for a short sermon, it takes about seven hours to write that, and then uh, longer ones, it takes longer. So when I travel to different states or different countries, I have to give sermons, and I've got something prepared, so I keep them. So I have a large file with the rosary sermons. But the reason I speak about the rosary is because uh, Our Lady promised to St. Dominic and to all of us, the soul which recommends itself to me by the recitation of the rosary shall not perish. And I want all of you to go to heaven. I certainly want to go to heaven. And if you pray the rosary devoutly, you will certainly go to heaven. And I ask one evil spirit, during an exorcism, is that true? Because he's down there. He knows who's in hell. Is there anybody in hell that faithfully prayed the rosary every day? And at first he didn't want to answer. Then he goes, no. So um, last week, um, during an exorcism, an evil spirit said something that really bothered me. He said, there's more people praying the rosary than those who aren't praying the rosary. And then he said, those that do pray the rosary, they don't even pray it as often as they should. So he said, we're kind of winning the war. And I knew the answer, but I asked him, what kind of war is this? It's a spiritual war for souls. So, okay, if that's true about the world, let's not have it true at Queen of Angels or Immaculate Heart of Mary churches that there's more people praying the rosary than those who don't. And then those that do pray the rosary pray it as often as they can. And the ideal is that everyone's praying the rosary. And why is that? Because the rosary is Our Lady's favorite prayer. Everyone should be praying the rosary, not just once a day, but as often as you can even if it's two or three or four times. But I believe Catholics don't pray it enough. The rosary should be prayed by families, by young and old, by religious and clergy. Because Satan is stealing souls every day. Our Lady protects those who pray the rosary and sends graces down to help them. The rosary protects us from sinning. And you can see it in your own life. When you stop praying the rosary on a regular basis, then you may fall into mortal sin or habitual mortal sin or more frequently fall into venial sin. And then when you pray the rosary, it's different. You're stronger and you can resist temptation. But even though the rosary is so powerful, many Catholics don't pray those beads. They feel they don't have the time and can't be bothered. But if something's important in your life, you make time for it. If we pray many rosaries throughout our life, Our Lady will be there at the end of our life. And she'll help us so that we don't lose our soul. And then when, we, when we're facing God on judgment, we'll receive few graces or many, many, many graces, depending on the number of the rosaries we prayed and how well we said them. And then you've heard the story in the secret of the rosary, St. St. Louis de Montfort said there was someone who's going to judgment, and then God had a scale. He put all his sins on one side, and it was pretty heavy. And then the good works he had, it was kind of outweighed. And then uh, Our Lady put the rosary on it, and then it, it was in his favor now. But that's what's going to happen at our judgment. And that if we said the rosary every single day, yes, the just man falls seven times a day, even good people, we commit sins of weakness or through habit or whatever. But if we pray the rosary every day, then we, at least we have that on our side. That I, I pray the rosary. I try to do, make up for that. And then I show God how much I loved him. So um, when we pray the rosary, Our Lady protects us from Satan, from misfortune, from car accidents, from calamities and tragedies. And there's many stories of people that have been saved from uh, even um, murderers, you know, they passed by this person and they ended up killing someone else because they prayed for protection. They prayed faithfully. 
or in car accidents, where um, it was a real close call. There other cars got, people got injured, but they were unharmed. Sometimes demons cause accidents because there's many people on the road who never pray. And then they can die suddenly, and then they're in judgment. They don't have a time to repent. There's a lot of car accidents that can be avoided by the rosary. And uh, because the rosary takes away so many souls from the demons and prevents people from going to hell, the evil spirits scream when they see the rosary, even before people begin to pray. And they told me that. They tremble when we begin to pray it. And then they said, the rosary tortures and punishes them every time it's prayed. So what's it feel like for them when you're praying the rosary? Okay, it's like being punched in the gut or burned with fire or stabbed. It attacks Satan and the demons and weakens them. So the rosary and the brown scapular are inseparable. That uh, we should not just say the rosary, but also wear the scapular. And it's sad sometimes on sick calls. I you know, visit people and, oh yeah, my scapula, it's, it's wrapped around my walker or it's in my drawer or somewhere. You know, please wear the scapular. Our Lady promised whoever dies wearing the scapular won't suffer eternal fire. So, Almighty God, through the instrumentality of the Blessed Virgin, makes use of seemingly insignificant sacramentals, such as the rosary and the scapular, to confound the strong things of the world. These powerful sacramentals have greater importance today than ever before. St. Dominic said, one day through the rosary and the scapula, the world will be saved. So I'll just close with the story. One day, a priest went to administer the last sacraments to a little girl named Marian. She was only 10 years old. But even though she was very, very ill and close to death, he was amazed how calm she was and the confidence she seemed to have regarding the future. So the priest asked her, Marian, aren't you afraid of facing Almighty God? And then instead of answering the question, she asked him a question. She said, Father, if I ask you to do me a favor, would you do it? And the priest said, I imagine I would. If I ask you ten times, then would you do it for me? Well, if you were that insistent, if I ask you 50 times a day for a whole year, the little girl asked again. The priest gave in and said, I'd have no choice in the matter. I'd have to do it for you, Marion. Then Marion said quietly, Every day I have asked Mary to help me when I said my rosary. Pray for us sinners now and at the hour of our death. I'm sure that she will not leave my side. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.